Go ahead, try this ACT math question. What is the greatest common factor of 42, 126, and 210? So a little old school math here because you learned greatest common factors probably many years ago. And while you don't talk about them explicitly in your math class anymore, you do use them actually all the time. So let's take a look at this and see. There's actually a number of ways we can solve this. One of the ways to solve this, which is the long way, and I'm not going to go through it in detail because it's not the best way to do it, is to write out all the factors of each of these and see which one is shared among them that's the biggest, right? So 42, for example, we know the factors of 42 are going to be 1 and 42 and 2 and 21 and 3 and 14 and 6 and 7. So here are all our factors. We would do the same thing for 126. We do the same thing for 210. And then we would see which factor is the biggest uh, shared between them. So you could do that. It takes a while, though. Another way to do it is to find the prime factorizations of each of these. So for example, 42, you can break down into 2 and 21. And you can break 21 down into 7 and 3. So 42 is just 2 times 3 times 7 as its prime factorization. Once you get the prime factorizations for 126 and 210, you basically see how many factors they have in common, right? So we'll do 126 quick so you can just get an idea. So this is 2 and 62, oh, 2 and 63. This is 9 and 7. This is 3 and 3. So we end up getting 2 times 3 times 3. So 2 times 3 squared. Now we'll just do times 3 times 7. Right here are our prime factors. And notice these two have a 2, a 3, and a 7, a 2, a 3, and a 7 in common. And you would just go to 210, see what it has in common with these, and you get your answer. Okay, fine. You could do it that way. Um, but there is, I think, a... Let me just make sure I didn't miss the other methods. Oh yeah, one other way to do it, perhaps the fastest way, except for the method I'm going to show you in a second, so second fastest way, is to kind of do what you do if you're presented with this problem in this situation. So let's say you have this expression and you wanted to simplify this or factor it. What you would do is find the GCF, right? This is where you use the GCF every day. What are the common factors uh, for 42 and 126? And basically what you can keep doing is keep pulling out factors out of both until you can't do it anymore, right? So this would be 21x plus 63. We'll pull out another 3, so it's 6 times 7x plus 21. And then again, we'll pull out a 7. So we pull out that 7, we get 42x plus 3. So that would be your simplified factor, and you could just multiply this through if you wanted to double check. Long story short, you'll get 42 that way. But the, I think the best way to do this question, since it's multiple choice, is to just plug in the numbers and start with the biggest, see if this can divide into... All three of them and whichever one works first starting from the biggest going to the smallest will be your answer right so basically abuse the fact that it's a multiple choice question so we know of course 42 is going to divide into 42 we'll divide 126 by 42 that works we'll divide 210 by 42 oops so we'll divide 210 by 42 and that works as well so right away we're done definitely the fastest way to do it uh, but you should at least understand one or two of these other methods, if not all of them, so that you're more well acquainted with how factoring works and greatest common factor, that kind of stuff. But as you can see, with multiple choice, you can make it a lot easier just by plugging in your answers. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.